Welcome to Hard Questions, where we gather pastors together, take on the hard questions of the day and answer them right out of the Bible. I'm Don Black. I'm the moderator on today's panel are Dr. William R. Glaze, Bethany Baptist Church in Pittsburgh. Chris Gibbs, Pastor Crossway Church in the Mars area. Tom Hollis, Director of Outreach, Cornerstone Network. J. Anthony Gilbert, Kingdom Restoration Christian Center, Mount Washington. Well, pastors, we got a question that is going to be interesting for, for us because the, the writer says, Dear pastors, I sin and cry out to God for forgiveness. And then you know what the rest is. And then I find myself committing that same sin again. Is there a point where God gives up over me, gives me over to my desires? Is there ever time that you're going to just lose grace, you know, fall out of fellowship with the Lord because of our, our continued sinning? You know, I, I'm going to say this. There is, but the fact that he's asking that uh, question, that's, that's right. Right. I would probably say not for, at all for him. Because the key is, is when someone continues to sin. Matter of fact, the Bible says in 1 John that if you continue to uh, operate in sin as a habit, you don't, you're not even saved. The Bible mm -hmm. says if you continue to operate in it, it says you can't remain in sin because the seed of God remains in you. I think it's 1 John I chapter. Got, I got it right here. 1 John 1, 6. If we say we have fellowship with him and yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But it's interesting what it says in 7. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. So there's a continual walking through that is cleansing us from all sin. I say, brother, if you are sinning and have a habitual problem with sin, then you need to look at, at the, the processes that your life is yeah. going through and throw a monkey wrench into whatever is causing you to continue to fall into that sin and do something different That's to good. get your, your life yeah. on a different track because what you're doing right now of of confessing, yeah. feeling guilt, confessing, and then falling again, that's not working for you. That's right. No, because that's actually, I mean, that, that's a trap, uh, that's a cyclical trap of the enemy. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, Jesus, I mean, not Jesus, but Paul says in Galatians 5, and we've used this verse before, he says, so I say, walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Okay, uh, verse 19 then goes, says, the acts of the flesh are obvious, and it goes, all of these are. So, Anybody who continues over and over and over and over and over and over, you're not walking by the Spirit. You may be, you know, walking at times, but you're not walking daily by the Spirit of God because the works are there. And, and, and you look in Matthew chapter 7, we used to sing this song with our kids, you know, the wise man built his house upon the rock. The idea is when you do what I've told you to do, it's like a wise man builds a house on the rock, but if you don't do what, I'm told, what I tell you to do, it's going to be like on the sand and the rains come down and it's going to be, you know, splat. So you might still be saved, but you are living an ineffective life. And God is, God's blessing is not on you. And that's, he said, I come to give you life and to give it to you abundantly. That's right. Well, and, and I think that what he's dealing with here too is some spiritual warfare. Mm. Uh, because when you look at the apostle Paul, he said that, you know, we don't walk after the flesh. You know, he, yeah. he said that we, you know, we war, you know, against the flesh and the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of that's strongholds. It. That's it. And so if, if you're doing the same thing over and over again, that's a stronghold. Yeah. And uh, Paul said that, you know, he, he goes on to tell us that we got to cast down imaginations and every high thing that Come exalts on. itself against the knowledge of God. And then here goes the, the key, bringing into captivity yep. every thought every sin, bring it into captivity to the obedience Stop of, of Christ. Stop flirting with it. See, that's the battle of righteousness versus um, of carnal life. Mm. But Pastor Jay, you said something that kind of concerns me a little bit. Mm -hmm. You said, if you sin, you're not saved. At least no, that's no, what... No, that's, no. Uh, no, if you sin habitually, like... See, that's without, what I mean. Habitually. Well, habitually, I mean, if you can continue to sin without a conscience and it doesn't affect you, yeah. then you're not saved. I don't believe that at all. I mean, if you can wow. continue to sin and there's no conviction in your life, matter of fact, if I, if First John uh, chapter two, I'll look it up and I'm I'll right come here. back to it. I'm right here. I'm, I'm right here right now. It is because Paul, John does say that. He says, if you walk in the light, uh, do not practice in verse six. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing not saved in that, in that scripture. I see I, 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 not practicing the truth. I'll come back to it. Like, if you guys can keep yeah, going, but let me, let, well, yeah. let me give but you... But I want to go, hold ahead. on. I'm, I'm going with you. First, the second chapter, uh, John Kelzani says, my little children, these things I write to you that you may not sin. But then he goes on, he says, for if we say that we have not sinned, 
He, if we say, if, if for if anyone's, anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so that 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 judgment okay. of saying. Here it is, First John chapter three. I apologize. It says, dear children, do not anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. No one who was born of God will continue to sin, because God's seed remains in him, and they cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. Yeah, because I don't think that means, and I agree with you, because I don't think it means that you're not ever going to struggle with things. No, not but at what all. it means is that you're going to, if you are born of God, you are going to have that conviction. Because look Definitely. at what it says in Romans, because uh, Romans 20, this is what I was going to show you so that you could get it, but Romans 1, 24, it says, therefore God gave them over in their in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity and all these other things. They exchanged the truth about God for a lie. See, mm -hmm. God deserted them because they had already deserted God. You're they had already deserted God. You're talking about who's struggling no, there. You're talking exactly. about someone who has, has it, gone far away yes. from, the, from what the, God's purposes for yes. their life are. Yes. And have hey, completely fallen. We got to come away. back to this. We're going to have to get Robin to make this an hour, a half hour show because Paul in Romans says that one I want to do, I don't do that which I right. do do. That was I don't before want to. he was saved. He writes that before. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know, man. See, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I've heard that. Hey, we, I've heard that argument. Let's come we back, back, let's let's come back to that. To make that a That's a hard time. Yeah. Because That's otherwise, a, then there is just a license for sin. Oh, brother. And, okay. Uh, hey, we're glad you're in the hard question <laughs> segment. Oh. You can see what we do on our half hour show, so you've got to come and join us on our half hour program. Good, good, good way to go. We don't want to sin. Let's get it done. We don't want to sin. We want to stand before God clean with pure heart and clean hands. That's what we want to do because that's what he has done for us and he has given us a way out of sin. Mm. He's given us a way out of sin. Thank God for the Holy Spirit and thank you for the blood, Jesus, and the cross, Jesus. We're glad for your hard questions. Send yours to us at hardquestions.ctvn.org or call us 888-665-4483 until the next time. All right. <laughs>